Did you know that exercise affects more than just your muscles? When you walk, especially when you perform some type of bodyweight exercises during the walk, such as push-ups or planks, you are increasing your heart rate, which pumps more oxygen to the brain. Hi, this is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness. Now, if you're looking to boost memory retention and learning capacity, intensify your creativity and imagination, stabilize your mood, improve your movement and coordination, and increase alertness and perception, then continue watching this video and stay to the end for my best walking inspiration giveaway. The information in this video comes from my book, Walking Inspiration. It's a 12 month plan to supercharge your health and fitness with 365 plus quotes and more. Now each month, the daily quote is related to the topic of the month, which I go into more detail about. Now the November chapter of Walking Inspiration will have you focus on the power of your brain. Now, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified every time I release a new video. I'm up over 100 YouTube videos about walking, health, and fitness. So be on the lookout as I plan more videos in the future. Walking and exercise in general does the following. Exercise releases hormones that provide an excellent environment for the growth of brain cells. Exercise stimulates the growth of new connections between the cells in many important corticals of the brain. Exercise has a positive effect on the brain's ability to change. This is commonly referred to as brain plasticity. And exercise increases the growth factors in the brain, which makes it easier for the brain to grow new neuronal connections. The more you challenge your body, the more you focus on your brain. Quote, the mind is a powerful force. It can enslave us or empower us. It can plunge us into the depths of misery or take us to the heights of ecstasy. Learn to use the power wisely. That's by David Crucieri. Human Evolution. Humans evolved to move. The, the acts of hunting, running, foraging, and climbing all involve movement and encourage brain growth that eventually separated us from other animals. Physical activity stresses our brain in the same way it stresses our muscles. Like active muscle fibers, neurons of the brain break down then recover to become stronger and more resilient with exercise. Exercise protects our most important organ. Physical activity prompts the brain to create enzymes that eat up any existing amyloid beta protein plaque that overpowers and strangles healthy neurons. Now, this plaque has been implicated as the cause of dementia symptoms and contributing factor to Alzheimer's disease. Physical activity boosts executive function. That's the collection of abilities that helps us plan ahead, reason, and solve complex problems. Exercise slows the natural decline in executive function and aerobic exercise at a younger age can protect against this decline later in life. Complex movement results in complex brain growth. Exercising as little as 30 minutes per day, three times per week, improves executive function and brain performance. Quote, when you become the master of your mind, you are the master of everything. Exercise boosts memory retention and learning capacity. Exercise increases the size of the hippocampus, which is involved in the formation of new memories and associated with learning and emotion. The brain literally grows each time you exercise. Studies have shown that walking just 30 to 35 minutes increases cognitive flexibility, which allows us to shift thinking and switch between topics. Physical activity leads to brain plasticity, which is the ability of our brain to grow and change. Exercise improves movement and coordination. Exercise simulates the cerebellum, the part of the brain that works to coordinate the body. The cerebellum is also linked to the prefrontal cortex where judgment and decision-making occurs. Exercise intensifies creativity and imagination. Exercise lights up the hippocampus, which stimulates the imagination and encourages thoughts of future plans. The hippocampus is the root of creative and inspirational thinking. Now, Steve Jobs and many other creative types relied on walking to enhance their imaginations. Jobs' walking meetings became part of his workday. In a recent study, a person walking, that's whether on a treadmill facing a blank wall or outside in the fresh air, produced twice as many creative responses compared to the person sitting down. 
Exercise encourages mood stability. Scientists have encouraged exercise as a treatment for depression and anxiety-related disorders for years. Studies of daily yoga and meditation have shown shrinkage of the amygdala, a deep brain structure strongly linked to the processing of stress, fear, and anxiety. A smaller amygdala means a lower rate of concern and worry and a heightened sense of calm, allowing us to concentrate on the task at hand. Now, exercise has been shown to be as effective as antidepressants for patients with major depressive disorders. The increase in serotonin production, which are the happy mood neurotransmitters during exercise is responsible for the alleviation of chronic depression. Exercise helps normalize sleep, which is known to be protective of the brain. Exercise increases alertness and perception. The brain contains 100 billion neurons, which talk to each other to govern our every thought and action. Neurons talk to each other more efficiently when they are exercising. Physical activity turns on the switch that controls arousal and attention. Neurotransmitter synthesis is boosted by exercise. Norepinephrine helps focus, motivation, and determination. Serotonin helps mood, impulsivity, and aggression. And dopamine controls our sense of contentment and reward. They all improve cognition and healthy ambition. The brain becomes more receptive to incoming information during exercise. The more you challenge your body, the more you focus your brain. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, right now, click the link in the description to get my free instant download of 40 inspirational walking quotes. It's a free gift from me for signing up to my email list. And you'll also get my get out the door checklist and my quarterly walking newsletter. Then check out my book, Walking Inspiration. As I said, it's a 12 month plan to inspire your health and fitness with over 365 inspirational quotes. Each month focuses on a new topic to inspire your health and fitness. Walking Inspiration is available at amazon.com. Now follow the link in the book to get a free download of the audio book, which is available through the exclusive resource page on the website. Then get out and walk and boost your brain power. So your next step in this whole process, Make a plan for your next several 30 minute walks. Write down where you do them, then begin making a go-to walking route list. This way, when you're ready to walk, look at your list quickly and you'll have a start point and you won't have to think much about it. Check out Map It Pedometer or other similar web-based sites to map out your walking routes and your distance. This way you know exactly how far you're going and where you're going to, okay? Then have your get out the door routine set from my download. Okay? The less you have to think about when you're getting started to walk, the more you can focus on the flow of the walk. Then get out there and walk. Let your brain power and creativity shine. Quote, the human brain has 100 billion neurons, each neuron connected to 10,000 other neurons. Sitting on your shoulders is the most complicated object in the known universe. So this is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness. Walk on. Hi, it's Frank again. Watch my other health and fitness videos and comment below about your walking journey. They're all over here. Check them out. Thank you.